The weather finally got warm enough, so I'm back out in the garage here working on people's projects. So this is an entirely self-contained electric start system on that snowblower. So this is the starter. It looks free. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I think it's... The bearing could be dry. Anyway, the only way to test this is I had an extension cord attached that I tried a land, lantern on or a light, and it, my extension cord is good, but it does nothing. So what I'm going to do is, it's kind of self-contained, this thing. That's why you see them. If they sell these, it's an entire unit. You just don't buy a part for it. Unless there's diagrams. I'll see. Anyways, what I'll do is I'll open up the end here. There's three screws. I'll open an end and I'll attach a multimeter and see if maybe it's the switch in here that's faulty. But either way, you can't open this. I don't know. Can't really open this if it is indeed the switch. I'll see. I'll see if there's a diagram where you can buy just a part for this. We'll see. I'll, I'll know more in a bit here. Okay, so I got an extension cord. Look at the voltage. This is 120.5 voltage. I got an extension cord attached. Look, I got my tester on the white and black wire. You want to know what I think happened here? I think the switch is corroded shut and this is burned out. Because even without touching the switch, I got 120 volts here at this starter. So I think this ran with the snowblower and burned itself out. So it's junk. So you'd have to get a whole new assembly like this. This is all one piece. The starter, the switch is all one assembly. Look, I'm not even touching the button and I got 120 volt. And it stinks burned out, so I'm quite certain that's what happened to it. That's crazy.